done. I'm not doing this. And then he would like, he would touch me. He would just go. Mm. Yes. And when he touched me, it was like this flower of hope just grew on the inside of me. And I'm like, what? I'm trying to quit and you won't let me quit. I'm trying to give up and you won't let me give up. Come on. Throw on the towel. You won't let me do it. I'm like, I'm done. I'm, I'll take my life. He's like, <laughs> he wouldn't even let me go. And you're all here for a reason. The reason why you didn't die in that situation that many others died in is because God has a specific plan for your life. And you're not going to die until he's done with you. He knows when you're born. He knows when you're going to die. But it doesn't matter what happens. People are going to be shocked. Like, how did you survive that? You shouldn't, you shouldn't have survived it. But God had a plan. Yes. He had a plan. Mm -hmm. and that's why we have to come to Jesus. We have to seek him. It doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter how bad it got. It doesn't matter if, if you feel shame. All you have to do is be open. I think one of the hardest things to be with God, and you think, oh, well, he already knows everything, but it's a relationship you're trying to establish here. Amen. If you're married, there's no way I can have a good relationship with my wife if I don't talk to her. Amen. If I'm not honest with her, how is my relationship going to go anywhere? anywhere. If I just go and I just look at her in the face. That's not going to work. And if you want to have a relationship with God, that, that uh, an effective, strong, right. powerful relationship, you got to talk to Him. That's right. You have to spend some time with Him. You don't have to be afraid because he's not going to beat you up. He's not going to put you down further than you were before. He's not going to let you stay in this place of shame and nakedness and brokenness. He's saying, come to me and let me know what's going on. And I'm right. going to move in that situation and bring miracles. I'm going to bring life where there once was death. I'm going to bring happiness where there once yeah. was Sadness. Hallelujah. I'm going to bring transformation. I'm going to pull you out of that. Thank you. And all you've got to do is just say, Lord Jesus, I need you. I need you. Yeah. Lord Jesus, I need you. Yeah. I'm in a place I can't, it's so bad, Lord, I can't even properly describe it to you. Come on. I'm hurting so bad, it's unbearable. I can't even take this pain. But Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. I trust in you. I know that you can help me. You Jesus, on, Jesus. Calling on Jesus and saying, yes. yes. move yes. on your yes. behalf. Yes. Yes. If you keep on calling him, he will answer. So just because he doesn't move at the speed you think he should move does not mean he's not there. Right. He's still there, even when you can't feel him. His word says that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. But that doesn't mean that sometimes he may not be kind of over there watching you. Sometimes he's testing us to see if we'll still worship him when everything is falling apart. He'll just be standing right over here. He's still here. And he's just watching. But you can't feel him so you think he's not here. But he's still there like given my son everything that he needs to make it. Mm -hmm. I've given my daughter everything that she needs. Everything is going to be just fine. Can they still worship me and praise me and thank me, even though everything is all messed up? And if you prove it, if you prove that you still got faith and trust him, then you're going to see him just, just like Superman <laughs> shooting that situation yeah. and bring change and transformation. Yes. Yes. God likes to, that's what's so amazing about God is that he can bring transformation. God wants you to soar. God wants you to see your dreams fulfilled. He wants to see you transform. He wants to see you become a brand new person. He sees that in you, but the only way to get from a caterpillar to a butterfly is you have to have faith and you have to trust him and you have to put actions to your faith. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. You can't just hope for it. Nope. You gotta put action to your faith. And that'll automatically take you through that process. And then suddenly you'll start to see the growth in yourself. 
where once you were weaker in this area, you'd be like, where, where did these muscles come from? Where did this strength come from? Why am I stronger now? That's because God is transforming you. He's transforming you. Every single thing that has ever happened in your life, God is using that to transform you into something brand new. All of it. See, without God, then all that stuff just builds up. All these things that happened in the past, it builds up and it eventually just leads to your destruction. But with God, you can use all of it. God specializes in bringing bright things out of dark situations. That's right. He specializes. It's like God wants to use, he wants to make a masterpiece out of your life. If you look at artists and they use different colors to paint their picture, you're like, oh God, this is amazing. Look at this. But God loves to use dark canvases, dark canvases so he can make the light shine brighter. If you look at the night sky, all those stars shine so bright because they're coming out of the darkness. Mm -hmm. It's against a dark background. And so you're thinking, how could God use this? How can God use this rape? How can God use this divorce? How can God use this addiction? How can God use all Because he's making a masterpiece out of your life. All right, let's see that. He's doing that. So what you thought was ugly and gross, God will repurpose that and make something beautiful out of it. Yes. That's what God can do. And that's why we need to come 